What's up, guys? Uh, Dr. Dan here. We got DJ Afterthought. DJ Afterthought, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, my name's Ryan. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm a DJ. Uh, I get to travel all over the place and work, but uh, get to come here to get get fixed up. Get fixed up. Um, job duties. Uh, everything. <laughs> um, no, mostly just DJing, production on stage. Lots of. Lots of this. Lots of this. Lots of computer time producing too, I think. Lots right? of yeah, lots of computer time, studio time, just kind of sitting in a chair. How many late nights a week? <sighs> Not as many as, as, as pre now no, starting to get to be more. Um, having the baby it oh, calms me down, hurts during the day, but then night times the, the You're just the, right back there. Yeah. yeah. So. so uh music producer, DJ on stage. Lots of hunched forward stuff. We started coming in here a couple months ago. Um, we've been working on his neck, his upper back. You guys will see how we treat DJ Afterthought today. Let's get into it and have a seat for me. All right. See, this is where we need like a cool intro by you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So guys, um, dude, massive change from last time and, and previous appointments. Uh, you used to be just like so many other people, a lot of neck tension, upper back tension, um, posturally doing a much better job. We coach them in here, uh, to try to create the lumbar curve system, right? The lumbar curvature, the thoracic curvature, and just kind of like the head up, right? Uh, the other thing we've been working on is shoulder mobility. And we'd love uh, some different exercises for him to help open up his front chain. And the front chain is like the bicep down into the forearms and the, uh, the carpal tunnel and the fingers. So we talked uh, in previous appointments about a lot of stretches to open up the front chain. So he's not stuck for hours and hours and hours. What's your longest, what's your longest position you've ever, like what's your longest time in the studio producing something? Probably about 12 hours. 12 hours, just straight, just straight. grind it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So lots of time in the studio. Um, all right. So uh, I've been working on a lot of handwork, a lot of upper body posture, and just a lot of like spine reshaping, trying to create good postural habits. So day after day and hour after hour at the computer and in the studio and on stage, he's not like too far hunched forward, but we get a little more back chain with it. All right. Left shoulder moves pretty well, but his right shoulder is his sticky side, a little, sti a little more tight on the right side. And he can feel as I pump this glenohumeral head back, it works well, but the right side is a little tighter side. So we are gonna focus a little bit more today on his infraspinatus right through here. Um, some of the scapula muscles right around here, we're gonna hypervolt. You know, most of the time you guys will see we hypervolt around the medial border and the superior, the top side of the scapula. Today, we're gonna blast out his infraspinatus down in here a little bit to get some uh, health and healing down through his right infraspinatus. So back to the hypervolt. Uh, we're gonna start with our general treatment up around the levator scap, the rhomboid muscles right here. Look down for me. Round. Up around the right upper trap. And that right levator, lean your head over to the left for me. So on top of producing, you got lots of travel too, right? Oh, yeah. And COVID is kind of slow, but now you're back to it. How much back to it? More than I'm ready for. <laughs> Multiple, no free weekends at the very least. Oh my gosh. Show after show. Show after show, show goes on. So you're either like, this is kind of like true for any job though. It's either like feast or famine, right? It's like, you're either working tail off or like work slow and things are slow. You've got all the time in the world. And then you might be stressed and like, I need something to do. And then you're so busy, you're like, I need a break, right? Yeah, it's either, uh, oh my gosh, what's going on with my career? Or, oh my gosh, there's too much going on. <laughs> it's too much going on, my head's spinning, right? But still super important to make time for some positive posture, some positive, maybe a little bit of exercise on the road. I don't know if you're doing it. You can do so much healthy at home in the hotel room, exercise, stretching to keep your elbows, your wrists, your neck loose. That's one of our things we really try to pump into our patients here and promote into our people is doesn't matter where you are, we give you exercises to work on that can make positive change and good benefit in your aches, pains, and your body posture. Let's switch over to this side. I, I already did and I made my tour manager basically like 
to sign a contract saying that you're just not going to let me not do it. So. Yes. <laughs> yes, I need it. This is for me. I can very least pull uh, 20, 20 pool laps. All right. At the very least. We actually just went to the uh, pool up the road here on Sunday. And, you know, Taylor, our little girl, she's been in swim class. How old you? Five. Five. Now. Yeah, just very five. What's he into? Uh, he, he's into Legos and sports at the moment. No activities? Is he doing any t-ball or anything? Uh, yeah, he does t-ball, hockey, soccer. He's starting back with swim lessons. We were, at, we were at the goldfish place for a while, and then we stopped for COVID, but yeah, we start going back. So, like right there. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that where you went right here? Yeah. Nice. I'm going to pull every Friday, 9.30 down there. Nice. Yeah, but uh, that's important too. Life changes. He's working, he's grinding. I'm working, I'm grinding. You get kids added to the mix. It gets a whole bunch more hectic. So don't feel bad if you can't make it to the gym because your life's definitely going to change. Your time is going to change. Um, your ability to schedule time for yourself is going to change. So incorporate the at-home work. Scooch forward for me. One of the things for him at home work, which you guys have seen in other videos, and this is one of my my all-time favorite back chains, palms down for me. And yeah, let's slouch first. So so many people will feel already how how kind of like slumped forward they are, right? And we want to get you out of that posture. We want to get your back chain dominant. So if we just think shoulders open, elbows up straight. And then straighten these guys up like that. And now shoulders open. Good. So this is a back chain rest. And one of the things we check when we back chain rest, it, are his traps tight? Yes, they're still a little tight. So we're going to say press down through the palms. And now you see how he lifted himself up right here. So with that little bit of power down through the arm, he's getting a pretty killer tricep workout without even moving or doing anything. He's also getting a beautiful lat activation. He's got a little bit of a wing scapula right here. And we really want to build good, healthy, quality, strong muscle down here. So we're going to say, roll this shoulder back, press down through that right hand and hold it for about 10 to 20 or even up to 30 seconds. And then left palm down, left shoulder open, left elbow straight. He's feeling right now how much he's pumping up his tricep and his lap and press down through the palm a little more. Good. What he did just there, he softened up his upper trap. So neurologically, we wanna program our people to be strong in the back chain and loose up in the neck. Back to the right side. This is a great little exercise that he can throw into a quick one or two minute break from the computer and then left side coil. And if we say coil, we say, try to like pack this shoulder down and back right there. And we're gonna hold 10 to 30 seconds. Then over to the right side, right elbow straight, right shoulder back, beautiful dude. Back to center, chest through the shoulders, right through here. Good. All right, so you guys can see how on his right side, he's got a little bit more, a little bit more uh, muscle activation on this right side, which we don't see that same amount on the left side. So one of the other things we're going to add in is a little neck stretch away, a nice little passive neck stretch. And he's going to focus on straightening this right elbow out and rolling this right shoulder back gently. And as he does that, he's going to pull his head and he's going to feel just like such a nice, beautiful little neck stretch where you can turn to the right a little bit. And you'll see how we increase this tension uh, higher up in like the SCM and some of the scalene muscles. And he can just kind of hold this for 30 seconds or 60 seconds before he transfers over to the right side. And that side might feel a little looser just through like the neck and the arm. We don't see that same amount of striation pull, right? So as he's uh, producing and, and mixing and working on the computer, let's go back to center and then take a break. We want to make sure that he doesn't stay here all day long. Because if he does this, how old do you know? 34. 34. So young dude but he's grinding hard, 12 hour days, sometimes nights and weekends. If he doesn't take care of his spine now, he's gonna end up 40 with a, what's your kid gonna be 11 or 12 years old. And his neck and shoulders typically are gonna just be so much tighter, um, just more pain in general, more neck discomfort. So every appointment here in the office, we try to give you one, two, three exercises to just take home and say, go do this for two minutes every hour and it's just gonna help us to get way healthier in the spine. Definitely helps out breaking stuff up too. Oh, breaking stuff up, right? And you have been so super busy. So I think this is only your, I don't know, seventh, maybe eighth appointment in the office, maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but I think last time we saw you was in April. 
late, late April, yeah. then life gets hectic, which everybody does. It's no problem. You know, we don't pin you down to a treatment plan. Uh, we try to get you to do as much at home work as possible. So when life gets hectic, you can take some things hopefully on the road or just your office. Doesn't matter where you work at, but, uh, you take some stuff, you try to incorporate some of the postural work, which he's done. Cause your neck used to be king. Oh up. yeah. It's definitely way, way better on it. Just everyday life even Look feels down. better. Everyday life feels better. Yeah. So a lot of times this is just a chiropractic plug people say what benefits can i get from chiropractic care uh, and the biggest thing is just overall health improvement um, different than when you go to your doctors and there's many different kinds of doctors but so many of them will just spend four minutes with you the pa will take your blood pressure put you on the scale the doctor will come in and say what's your complaints all right here's your script see you later right uh, that's really not making any kind of positive change long-term preventative maintenance care in your life. We have to coach you and you have to be coached. You have to be open to being coached to really just learn how to sit better and stretch a little bit throughout the day. And it'll just improve your overall health. Look down for me. You all know if you've ever had a kink in your neck or a strain in your back, how bad it can disrupt your life. Sometimes for a day, sometimes for a week. And sometimes people say, I've had chronic back pain for five years and I quit exercising and I quit doing this and I quit doing that because my back hurts. If you're not taking proactive steps and proactive measures to attack your pain, it's just going to get worse. So one of them is healthy posture, doing your shoulder exercises, your neck stretches correctly. Two of them. What's that? I definitely went, went been to other chiropractors where they're just like, Hey, here's your adjustment. See you later. And not tell you why or what's happening or what you can do at home to, to, to help it in between. And it's definitely, this has been way more positive experience. I stopped going to the chiropractor because of that. <laughs> and that's it. Like chiropractors, I mean, it stinks because it's my profession, but so many of them are going to tell you, you have to be in here every week for the rest of your life. Get adjusted. Here's your four minute adjustment and see you later. And then you go back to work and you sit sloppy and you sit crooked and you sit hunched forward and your neck pain comes back a day or two days or three days later. And then it's like, oh, I got to call a chiropractor and go back. Uh, no way, dude. I do not want that for him. He's busy. I don't want to suck his life up. I love you to death. You're a good dude, but you got a family and a big job and all kinds of stuff you got. Uh, to keep track of. So as minimal as we can see him, look down for me, and as maximum what he can do is at home exercises, that's what we want to do. Look down. And really just a little bit in the right side neck right here, but so much better than previous appointments. Let's do the left side now. Just saying when I wake up has really, really helped out a lot. I never, I never stretched when I woke up ever. Yeah. And I have been little by little and it definitely helps out helps big time right think about your morning routine what is it it's wake up so many people it's wake up maybe go to the bathroom brush your teeth get on your phone get on your phone like as soon as you wake up you're scrolling already then your thumb pain hurts and then your neck hurts and everything else first step you gotta wake up you gotta do your your big three your big three well, maybe we'll go over those today um but the big three exercises look down for me look up for me Look down for me. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. Um, other health benefits, chiropractic care. When you fix your neck, you breathe better. When you fix your thoracic spine and you improve your posture, you breathe better. Your lungs function better. You consume more oxygen. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. When your neck is high, your head is high, you have less tension. This dude used to have a bunch and he has minimal tension up in his cervical spine right now, which is awesome to see. And a lot of that has to do with this kind of movement, shoulders back and down. Now left shoulder still is moving a little easier than the right shoulder. So now we're going to do a little more myofascial like right here on the uh, levator scap. Um, not yet. She yeah. honestly has been like buried with her, with her own work. Yeah. yeah. Look down. People got sick. Really. Look up. Now she's picking up. Yeah. Down. So she's look up. Super swamped. Look but down. We have a bunch of family look vacations up. coming up. Oh, that's good. At least she got a little time away. Yeah, look I up. did. Make sure I look down. put those on the schedule right away. <laughs> Gotta do it, man. Look down. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. 
Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. Awesome. All right. Now that's a little better right there. Yeah, that's right. better. Oh. <laughs> All right. So a little bit of work, a little bit of decompression work up here. It lets the shoulder sink a little lower. Now we're going to blast those in for spinatus a little bit. Just get a little bit of vibe therapy. This is usually a good spot right under the base. You know, you have your spine, your scapula right here, your supraspinatus, your infraspinatus. Those are two of your rotator cuff muscles. Infraspinatus typically gets some pretty nasty trigger points and just issues with it. So we do a lot of stretching, a lot of strengthening, a lot of bar hanging on the pull-up bar. Really important to kind of fully stretch out the shoulder, uh, the scapular complex, and all this good stuff back here. If you're hanging, is that kind of almost the same concept as like a, one of those boards you extracted? An inversion table? Yeah. Yes. Same concept. Now, I personally, people ask me every day, do you like inversion tables? They're cool, but they take a lot of time to strap in and actually just like lay back and yes. and hang out there for a while. Where if you get a pull-up bar, maybe we can do this at the end of the appointment, you can get a simple pull-up bar in any room of your house. Like we have ours in the spare bedroom, so twice a day really. Uh, you know, me and the baby will play upstairs for a little bit in the morning and I'll spend about five minutes hanging and stretching. And then at the end of the day, when my wife's giving the baby a bath and I'll just be like right outside the door talking to them right. and I'll just hang for another five or 10 minutes. And it's, it's the best to stretch the spine in the longest. We'll talk about that after a big little rehab. Yeah. All right, good work. All right, let's go face down on the table for you. It's all right. Pushing my hand here. And stop. Push. How much low back pain have you had in the past? Stop. Lower? Yeah. Well, not, Any or none? Not Push. much. Okay. It's usually all upper. Yeah, usually upper right. Push and stop. Good. Let's do this foot while we're here. Just relax your leg foot. Right. Man, flexible down here, guys. We got a couple other patients coming in today. I know they're going to be tight. This dude is nice and flexible in his legs, right? Uh, my goal when I'm 80 or 90 years old, if I make it that long, it's kind of like whatever the big man's plan is, right? But uh, I definitely want to be flexible. That's why I'm working now in my 30s. That's why he's working now in his 30s. Some of these will get up just because the leverage isn't the right way. All right, good work. Let's do a little muscle work on the lower back. I, I am today, we're gonna talk about a core exercise too. I want you to try to incorporate in. Okay. Uh, Cause I do remember you've had just like a little bit, if you haven't had low back pain, that's awesome. Uh, but we do have a little bit of, a little bit too much tension. So I'm gonna show you one simple core exercise. Okay. What we're doing, digging out the lumbar erectors. Nice and flexible in the quads. Nice and flexible in the front chain of the legs. A little bit of any, any soreness or not really? Uh, not really. Not really, good. There's a little bit right through here. Yeah, a little bit right there, but not too much. Uh, and what I'm feeling, what I feel, guys, just a little swelling in the supraspinous ligament, a little bit of fluid right over top of the spinous process of the vertebrae right there is where he's got just a little baby, little baby low back tension. Uh, so we're just going to help loosen it up. Sometimes after appointments, you can get a little sore when we do some deep muscle work like this.
Good sore there. Good sore. Good sore. It's like you're doing something, something good, right? Yeah. So back to the uh, self care with kids, with work. We only got 24 hours in a day and five, <laughs> five to eight of them, I hope, should be used for sleeping. Eight plus, sometimes 12. One guy in the gym today said he had a 16 hour work day yesterday. 16 hour work day, but he did make it in at 6 a.m. to work out. And then he just pounded away from like 7.30 till seven at night, or excuse me, 7.30 till like 10.30. He said he was just grinding, minimal breaks. Sometimes you got to get up earlier if you're dedicated to exercise and fitness. You got to get up 30 minutes earlier if that's the only time that you got. If you if you just know you're scheduled with meetings and this and like work all day, you know, try real hard to set a goal to get up three days a week, 30 minutes earlier. So you can at least do some at home stretching or if you're going to go to a gym or a fitness program, um, you know, make time like an hour, hour and a half. If that's impossible then you got to just hit the at-home exercises and the at-home stretches throughout the day. Deep breath in, exhale out, whole way out, good. Deep breath in, exhale out, whole way down. Good. Deep breath in, exhale out. All right, man, perfect. Arms back up, right there. And then just soft shoulders down like that. Head this way. And one more head, that's all good. There we go. There we go. Good. All right, buddy. All right. Oh, that was good. That was good. Yeah. The face over, right side up. Sorry, right side up. Right here. Good. Toes relaxed. Head up towards ceiling. Right there. Cross here, cross here. Roll. Breath in. Breath out. Way out. Good. Wonderful. Other side. Dude, you come a long way, man. Yeah, it's too quick. Bottom leg straight. There we go. Head up here, head up here. Breath in and out. Good. All right. All right, good work. Head straight on the table. All right. So we talked about not a lot of low back tension, low back adjusted very well, the joints are loose. With many patients, if the low back's like chronically tight, there's always a core component. There's always a core component. There we go. Good. Bend here. Knees good. One more knee here. All right, good. All right, so his core component that we're gonna work on at home, which you can do in the living room with your little dude as he plays. Don't have to spend a lot of time. A little time is better than no time. We're gonna work on a, what we call FOBSLR. Flat on back, straight leg raise. Okay. FOBSLR. All right, now your goal here is to do three things. Raise your leg up, hold right here for me. You're gonna twist your knee out a little bit and you're gonna try to straighten the knee. All right, let's back off a little bit. Straighten the knee, correct, right there. Toes are gonna to stay down and relax, just like that. You're gonna breathe in through your nose. As you exhale, you're gonna pull gently, you're gonna turn gently, and you're gonna to try to keep that knee straight. Exhale, pull, turn, hold. Inhale, exhale, whole way out, good. What? That's a feel, yeah. All right, sure. so soft knee open, soft knee straighter, pull the whole leg towards you. Now knee open, there you go right there. Okay, so we have some deep core muscles like the iliopsoas, the diaphragm, some of the pelvic floor muscles uh, that help us to raise our leg up and hold it at a 90 degree position uh, that will help us to alleviate low back pain and overall just make our pelvis and our lower body stronger. So three things you do, you raise your leg up, you keep your toes down and relax, that's, that's made, straighten your knee, and then twist your knee out a little bit. Good. All right. So shaky, shake. <laughs> All right. Let's take a break on that side. Left leg up. Left knee open a little bit. That side's a little easier. 
Oh yeah. See the difference. Oh okay. yeah. All right. So already we can see how his knee goes straighter. He's able to open his knee up. So we have a little bit of core imbalance in between the left leg and the right leg. What we're going to do, deep inhale through your nose. As you exhale, turn, pull, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale deep. Exhale, turn, pull, hold. Inhale deep. Exhale deep, turn, pull, hold. Okay. Inhale deep. Exhale deep, turn, pull, hold it. Hold it right there now. Inhale deep. Exhale, pull towards you now. See how much easier this side is. Oh, yeah. Take a break. Right leg up. So, <laughs> crazy, right? So we have a little bit of weakness, a little bit of core weakness in the right leg, the right quad. You see how his knee kind of goes in instead of that out position? Open this guy up even a little bit more. Hold right there. All right. So we need to work for him to balance out his low back, get a healthier lumbar spine, a healthier pelvis. Inhale deep, exhale deep, hold. Inhale deep, exhale deep. Now you want to do about 20 reps. 10 reps is okay. If you can do 10 reps right, 10 reps left, 10 reps right, three sets through, work up to try to work up to 20 or 30 reps. Okay. On the right leg first, then the left leg, then the right leg, then left leg, then the right leg. Start with the weak side. Okay. Cool. So that's called FOBSLR, flat on back straight leg raise. It's a great core balancing exercise. It'll help us develop symmetry down in the pelvis. And it's going to help us get the low back a little looser and adjust a little bit better. Let's do that one a lot. Yeah. Relax here. And the good thing is, it's easy to do if you're traveling. Oh yeah, that and if you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you get out of the plane and your low back's feeling stiff, and you, you know, maybe you guys go to eat, I'll be a baggage claim. Just <laughs> laying down. <laughs> Looks <Exterior>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax here. Relax right. your arm. All right. So the other thing with him from from a lot of just hours on computer work. You guys have probably seen in other videos, you know, the front chain gets pretty tight. Bend your elbow for me. So pull against my hand. You're going to bend your elbow just like that. Bend, bend, bend. And now stop. Bend, bend, bend. Stop. Bend, bend, bend. Stop. Thumb open. Bend, bend, bend. And stop. Bend, 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 and stop. Can you feel how this tension is? Okay, bend, 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 and stop. Awesome. So we definitely gotta keep working just this whole front line out. Okay, I can feel that for sure. All right. All right, and down, let's do that. Did a great movement though from last month's couple of months. Oh yeah, I mean, I can feel the difference. Feel the difference. All right. All right, turn right, gently relax your shoulders. Turn left, relax your right neck. All right, body, all right, good work, sit up for me. All right, so let's recap. Bend this up. One more here. Relax this. All right, good work. All right, let's recap. Two exercises. On a uh, one exercise on a couch, one exercise on a floor. Scooch forward for me. Hands back here. On the couch, palms down, fingers in is what we want to do. We want to work his back chain by right through here. So he's going to do 10 to 20 reps, cut left for 10 to 20 seconds, cut right. That's one rep, one rep, two reps, two reps, back to center. Shoulders open. So after you get to 10 or 20, just give yourself a little five or 10 second rest right here. Think shoulders open, build these guys right back here. Second thing he's gonna work on is the FOBSLR. Three sets, 10 to 20 reps per leg. Definitely more focus on the right leg because that's the weaker side of the field. You can tell right off the bat. All right, let's talk about a hanging exercise now. So we're gonna give him a hanging exercise which we've really changed over the past couple of years and some of the older videos you might see that my feet are crooked and all kinds of wacky stuff's happening. Um, but the doorway pull up bar is really awesome. We're gonna go through two situations that we're gonna walk him through. One, we're gonna set the feet up straight underneath the bar, pretty much straight underneath the bar. We wanna hang the hips down. We wanna just gently extend through the hips like this. We wanna just shift left, shift right. When we shift, Ryan, we wanna feel the shoulders one cuts in, one cuts out. 
Okay. Right little turn action. Right cuts in, left cuts out, like this. Then we can just dead weight hang. When we dead weight hang, we want to keep soft pressure through the feet. We want to just drive the hips back gently so we get the spine to stretch out nice and long. Position two we're going to work into is just a straight leg raise or a straight leg, uh, straight knee position. We're going to keep the feet in the go to position, which is toes down and in just a little bit. We're going to gently roll the knees out. And what we want to practice here, Ryan, is just like sinking way back, far away from the hands. Think head up, chest up. If you want to pull through the scapula, we're going to really work on that arch through the mid back. And then we can just transition back to our dead hand right here. Let's okay. try that out. There. And then look down at the feet, keep the feet straight. Good. Hang straight down. All right, guys. And now what we're going to uh, coach him how to do here is just a little, no, keep the feet right there. Straight forward. Now just use your feet to drive your hips back a little bit like that. Correct. And what we're doing here, guys, is getting his chest up, getting his lumbar spine to get in this nice lumbar curvature. Now, if I say pull up a little bit, just yes, correct. So that's how we scaption pull up. That's how we really engage these guys. This will help us tremendously to reduce neck tension and really just build this nice back chain dominance throughout the spine. Position two, drive your hips straight back. So straighten your knees out. And now I want you to, again, just look at your feet, turn your toes in a little more. And now I want you to think head up, chest up, and big arch right here. Use those feet, drive the hips straight back. And correct, way back like that. So you feel how you reach away from the hands like that. Yeah. All right, now if I say pull up, head up high, uh, you're gonna look straight. There you go, right there. And now what he's hitting here, guys, is like the lats, the serratus, and we're teaching him again in the earlier section of the video how to reduce his neck and trap tightness by building lat strength and um, underarm strength down here. So let's now drop back straight down and just to kind of hang out here. If we work on the shoulder cut, one shoulder's in, one shoulder's out, or one elbow, I should say, and then right elbow and left elbow. Out. And this is a nice, really awesome distraction exercise. He asked about if an inversion table is awesome. Uh, they are, but I found such better relief and uh, actually uh, a lot more spine decompression when we're just hanging out in this long position here. See how good that feels? Oh, yeah. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, drive the hips straight back. Twist the knees open gently. Open, open. There you go right there. That's your double bow set. Head up, chest up. Think nice big arch through the low back right here. Yes, there you go. I feel how you turn those guys on. So three to five minutes of just transition between the dead weight hang, the low hang, or the hips back hang is gonna to continue to help to shape his spine and his core muscles really nicely, and really just alleviate neck pain, back pain, get him more flexible, and get him more active. All right? All right, you can let go, man. Awesome. It's a pleasure having you in here. Thanks for having me. Good. I feel much better. Feel good? <laughs> okay. All right. Adjustments were great. We did thoracic spine, lumbar spine, cervical spine, feet adjusted great, ankles adjusted great, um, elbows still a little tight, so he's gotta work some more flexibility in the arms, but those guys will start to loosen up and will feel really awesome. Awesome. All right. Appreciate you. Thank you guys for watching. DJ Afterthought, look him up on Instagram. Uh, you have a YouTube channel? I do. Everything's DJ Afterthought. Everything's DJ Afterthought. We'll put a plug into it. Uh, give him a follow, listen to some of his tunes and jams and all the good stuff, right? My little girl, <laughs> we have a dance party in the basement and uh, she learned like a month ago, Dada, tunes and jams, tunes and jams. <laughs> so I, I have to go home. I got to play her DJ Afterthought tonight. Please right. do. Thank Thanks. You. Appreciate it.